Hi, my name is Daniel Stacy, and I'm a volunteer here at SCOV working on our new room scheduling software program. We're very excited to introduce this to SCOV, allowing committees, chairpersons, and clubs to schedule their own events. They'll be able to easily see what's available at SCOV in the rooms and the different meeting spaces that we have and see what is gonna fit best with their events. This is gonna be a brief overview today. And I put on the screen, the address for the website, scov.sketa.com and my contact information. You'll see this again at the end of this short video and there will be other videos available to you to look at on various aspects of the program. Please check them all out. This software allows for groups to schedule. They cannot double book a space and they will be able to easily check and make adjustments to the meetings that they schedule. So let's move right back into SCETA, okay? So here's what it looks like. It has a layout of the different buildings at SCOV to enable you to see what's available. The menu consists of a section at the top here after you've logged in with your password for your club or committee. It will show the day, the month, a list view, and a map view. We're looking right now at the map view. It also has dates and the building that you're interested in and the time. So a spot that is green indicates a space that is available. Those that are gray are in use at that particular date and time. This space for the activity center includes both the Kiva patio and two tables for ticket sales. Right. The other locations include the fitness center, the two studio rooms, Catalina Vista with the three rooms, also the patio that's available for use, the billiards room when it is not in use by the billiards club, and the art room when it's not in use by the art group. Desert Oasis has two meeting rooms, Acatillo and Saguaro, in addition to the patio outside the pool where there are chairs and seating and a barbecue grill. And lastly, the Welcome Center with the three meeting rooms there. When you look at the menu, you can zero in on one particular day, such as we've got it for October 9th, okay? You can then look over here at the top at spaces and you can choose all spaces to see what's going on in that day or just one particular location, such as say uh, Catalina Vista. If you go to Catalina Vista, it shows only those rooms and what is going on in those spaces. Now, you can click on any of these and see more detail, okay? It'll show you when the meetings start and what, when they end and who's responsible for that meeting, but it will not show you additional information about them, nor can you change or modify anything about their reservations. You can only make changes to your own. In addition to the view uh, under uh, the, the different uh, uh, sections, the different buildings, uh, you can also then uh, look at a list view. We'll cover list view in another video, but here's just an example of it list day after day and what events are going on. And if you click on one of those, you can see a little more detail for that event. So that's just kind of a general basic orientation of the software. Um, we uh, will also show again my contact information at the end. Uh, I'm here to provide uh, some helpful uh, technical support for the uh, program. Uh, please feel free to give me a, a contact if you have some questions uh, and I can help with any of those things. If you have not already found for your group your sign-in, uh, please let us know and we'll be sure and get you set up. All right. Thanks for joining us today. We hope this has been helpful and be sure to check out some of our other videos.